Hi everyone, my name is Maria. I'm Kamiar, and we are the developers of this passive home. We really fell in love with the concept of passive house. We dug more into it and we saw a real commercial benefit to developing to a passive house certified a standard, primarily because of the ability to create a very healthy home. Michael really talked us into, you know, early days when we first met him, into the benefits of having a passive house. And when we did more research, you know, on the passive house accelerator, we saw that it was kind of a no-brainer. For, you know, limited incremental cost, to the overall budget, we could, you know, really get you know a much healthier and and livable house. Last summer, with the wildfires and the toxicity of the air, that point was really drove home. By doing this project, we have learned so much, and as we keep developing, we get more and more excited. And as you can tell, that we're starting a family. I cannot wait for a family to enjoy this place and and get the benefits of a healthy living. It was a really one of our favorite projects the last couple of years. The clients were great. The team in the office with Mark and Lindsay and Moore were great. BIA Interiors doing the whole in interior element. Kathy Hobbs staging. Kathy has a passive house building uh, as well, and we've done that, and she's a wonderful client. And we're working with a realtor I've known forever, Ellen Gottlieb with Corcoran, who is uh, also really knowledgeable about passive house, which is so helpful. What you're looking at here is your finished stair with that natural light coming down. I've got my living, I've got my dining, traversing this arch past this powder room and closet into this open kitchen where you have these massive doors going out into the yard, super easy to open, giving you that indoor-outdoor feeling without blocking any of the natural light from downstairs. This is a north-facing window assembly. I just want to be clear, we didn't have to worry about the sun. And in a lot of houses, you would never put that much glass on the North Face, but this Icon product will perform so well that it just didn't matter. I have no radiator here. I haven't got no big ductwork there. My, my air conditioning's over here. It's pretty far away. And I can do it because it's a passive house. So when I say very often, you know, people will hear me say, passive house frees the designer. It's this kind of thing that we're talking about. So we're looking at the garden floor now. I'm walking down the sculptural staircase. One of the client's ideas here, which we love, is lowering this floor in this area, just a few feet. We were already digging the cellar out a bit here, so it was easy to do. And so it created this head height. Very often you're only getting like seven feet on these garden floors. So it's one of the big differences of this house. This house was designed to feel good on every single floor. This is where the height of the cellar was. I mean, almost not able to walk. And we were able to dig down. This is a bench footing, which means I didn't underpin. You know, you've got your party walls, which means both people own it. And I can underpin, which is right under the wall, or I can create a structural bench, which means I'm just doing it on this side and this side, which doesn't affect my neighbor and is a little cheaper and a little faster, but also we like it. We don't mind what it does to the spaces. You still get these wide open, wonderful spaces. We are able to do lots of things with the bench here because we don't know how people are gonna wind up using it. We left it open, but a lot of times we do storage all along here. In this house, we did something totally different than what we're able to do in other places where we've opened this all the way up to the roof. I'm looking at the sky and it lets all this natural light down here. On this side, we did install some storage, but also we have the area here for some mechanicals. Um, nice, clean Mitsubishi unit, insulated ductwork. If you look closely in the back, you can see the Stego wrap. But we in this house brought this all the way up to above grade. It comes up and it terminates right at our passive house envelope, whether that's plywood on the outside, whether that would be a smart membrane on the outside, whether that would be the stole gold they used on the party walls. Either way, your plastic wrap comes up and it basically terminates right there. So the whole way up the house, I've got this sealed envelope. It's really nice. Even if my cellar of my neighbor's house has a little bit of a water issue, it doesn't necessarily come to me. 
and we're on the primary bedroom floor. And what we try to do in these rooms is not build it all in because you might want to use it one way now, another way later. We purposely aren't building in any furniture to provide that level of flexibility. As we head into the primary bedroom suite, let's check out the window. So this icon window, which again, I just want to describe like how easy it is to operate these. Super easy. Goes right out to a really private space outside your primary bedroom. I go up the step and the pavers are literally right where that step was. So it's like this wonderful indoor outdoor experience, even though <clears throat> there is a seven or eight inch step down to the actual roof below my pavers. So even if there's a massive rain event, which we're always planning for now, we've got everything covered. The water's never coming in. So in the primary bathroom, I'm walking past two sinks and a tub where I typically wouldn't be able to put it. I'm on an outside wall, front facade, I'm not over insulating, but I'm insulating enough where I can easily get the water where I need it to be. I got all this great natural light and it lets the design team really create the space that's a bit of an oasis. One of the other nice things about these houses is that through all the living spaces, you have constant fresh air going into them in all of the bathroom and kitchen spaces, you're constantly having air removed. It's super easy and super clean and you just don't see it. When we're on the top floor, you can see that beautiful Lamalux skylight. One of the things we like about working with some of our contractors like BZJ is just the attention to detail, as well as the team in, in our architectural office. They really care about how all these pieces all fit together. And it's, it's what makes a beautiful house even, even that much more beautiful. Sometimes it's also what you can't see. It's super easy to get to the mechanicals. Um, this is a Mitsubishi unit. You've got the thermos head here and we have sensors in both rooms where you're able to get to everything you need to get to, but it's hidden. Nice and easy. You're in the laundry room now. And again, I've got this skylight. This is an operable skylight in case I ever need to get to the roof. And what I have behind this access panel is in fact that ERV. You can see the Zender unit here, Comfort Air Q on this one. Making sure I can get to all these things, making sure it works with the whole layout. That's what working with the contractors and the mechanical engineers and the pass files consultants and just really getting that systematic approach is all about. It's what creates that finished product that really, really works the way you want it to. You don't have to sacrifice any of your design or other needs to do a passive house. In fact, it's the opposite. It frees the designer and allows you to do things you just couldn't do otherwise. We've created such a serene, comfortable environment because of what we did before. Again, when I walk through a house, the first question I will be asking is what is behind the walls? Did they seal it? Did they do the infrastructure? It's wonderful to have the fun stairs. We love designing cool, wonderful sculptural spaces. But if I want a healthy home, if I want a filtered fresh air home, sealed from some of the elements we're talking about, you gotta fix what's behind the walls first. And this is how we do it.